At Baylor University, we have two main science buildings, the Baylor Sciences Building and the Baylor Research Innovative Collaborative. The Baylor Sciences Building is one of our highly populated buildings with 500,000 square feet of available research and teaching space. Within the uh, science building is several core facilities to enable research. We have the Mass Spectrometry Center, the Center for Microscopy and Imaging, the Nuclear Magnetic Resonance Facility, the Molecular Biosciences Center, and we even have animal research in our BSB vivarium. Within the Baylor Research Innovative Collaborative, there's 330,000 square feet of laboratory research space. Uh, what does that entail? Well, material science, electrical engineering science, and we even have physics research. Within those facilities are uh, the clean room facility where we can do surface science, uh, nanofabrication, uh, we can do materials characterization, study the surface of materials, materials properties, and an electrical engineering department that's devoted to looking at things such as solar power and motors. My lab is in the brick and it's a tremendous infrastructure for us to build into open lab space. Uh, I'm here in my lab where I've been able to build a high power lab with a high bay and advanced power distribution center overhead through a Starline busway system and this all enables tremendous multidisciplinary work, multi-scale work, the infrastructure that has been provided uh, really enables a tremendous amount of uh, different types of research. As a Baylor graduate student, not only do you have access to world-class facilities, but you also have access to world-class faculty. Dr. Zekman, he is probably the most patient person I've ever met in my life. Um, he walks the students through how to use the equipment. He sits there with them one-on-one -on -one for hours at a time. If I need anything from him, he goes out of his way to do it. I think what grad students really like about our facilities are they get the hands-on with the instrumentation. They get the independence to work on the instrumentation. Um, they aren't just submitting samples, uh, submitting images for someone else to do the work. They're actually able to get in there and do it themselves. Graduate school in general has travel funds for students to attend conferences and you know, present their research, which is instrumental in affording students the opportunity to network and find postdocs or jobs after grad school. How, how the science buildings are created is to uh, foster collaborative research. We've also put departments that are often going to collaborate together within proximity to each other. Um, so whether it's in the Baylor Sciences Building or the Brick, um, you're going to have somebody to be able to play uh, off of to do some of your conversations and new ideas. My home department is the chemistry department, but I've collaborated with the environmental science department because that's where my advisor is housed. So I work with a lot of other scientists who are doing toxicology and other chemical applications, as well as the biology department for the marine mammal research. And kind of I've done a lot of collaboration with them in terms of what samples we have and what analyses we're performing. And it's been a lot of two-way communication of, I need assistance with this, okay, well in exchange I can help you with this. It's not a very competitive environment, so it's great to be able to just cross the hall and ask somebody for assistance. My favorite part about being a professor here at Baylor is really enabling great research experiences for students and working with students that are excited about their research. Not only do you know um, that there's commitment on the side to focus on science, but you know there's a commitment to focus on investment in, in research facilities, on instrumentation, on new faculty, on new programs. All those things are going to combine to create a better research environment. So as a graduate student, it's a very exciting time uh, to come to Baylor University.